Let's find the derivative of x squared using the limit definition. The first step, of course, is to apply the limit definition and to write the resulting limit. The limit definition of the derivative, if you don't recall, is this. And that's what we see here. In the numerator, we have the function evaluated at x plus h. The function is x squared, so that's why we have x plus h squared. And similarly, you can see how the rest of the definition applies. Next, we will expand the x plus h squared. And that gets us here. x plus h squared is x squared plus 2xh plus h squared. And then we still have the minus x squared at the end, and it's all getting divided by h. Now this works out pretty nicely. The x squared on the end cancels out with the minus x squared that's on the other end. And so this just leaves us with the limit as h approaches 0 of 2xh plus h squared, all over h, of course. And then we're pretty much done. You can imagine splitting up this fraction into 2xh over h plus h squared over h. And on the left, the h's cancel out. And on the right, a factor of h cancels out and leaves just a single factor of h. Regardless, what we end up with is the limit as h approaches 0 of 2x plus h. Again, this division by h just got rid of a factor of h in both of these terms. That's how we get here. At this point, we can just plug 0 in for h. When we plug 0 in for h, what we get is 2x plus 0, which of course is 2x. And that is the derivative of x squared and how you find it using the limit definition.